Uh, well, most certainly Michael Jordan. Uh, I would say Larry Bird. Um, and I think a little bit Don Mattingly, uh, because Donnie Baseball was someone that I adored growing up. Um, you know, I'd be, I'd be low on, mowing the lawn, and my dad would tell me, hey, you know, Roberto Kelly's up, Donnie Baseball's up in two uh, batters. I would literally, like, throw down the mower, shut it off, book inside. That would be my lemonade break. And, you know, like, yeah, I tried not to miss his at bat if I could. It was great. It didn't matter, though. It still didn't matter. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, I got to see what Donnie Baseball does. Uh, okay, so we're going to randomize the list here, folks, nine times. For those of you who are new, appreciate you joining us. What that means is we randomize the list based on what the die or the dice say. So nine times, we're going to press the randomizer at random.org nine times, which determines the list. The first card will be right underneath the gum, right there, card number one. Good luck to Chad, Rob, Todd, and Jim. Jim's actually pulled a Dr. J rookie with us before. Jim, if you're listening, hope all is well. I agree with you, Stephen. Time for a doctor. That's what we're hoping. What's the sentiment up there about Gronk right now? Do they think he's definitely going to retire? Because I see, I've seen a few articles, Lou that insinuate that says uh, even his agent's suggesting they don't know if Gronk's retiring. I found that hard to believe. I feel like he's waited this long. Okay. That's true, I would say. Tell you, I'd say the same thing I would say to Brady. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously they'll play two different positions, but since I've been alive, I haven't seen someone play tight end better than Rob Gronkowski. Uh, and it's unfortunate because he was a Patriot, not a Jet. Uh, it's the same thing I'd say about Brady. Um, but really, the guy, you know, uh, if you saw him play, um, it was it was really hard not to root for him, once again, even as a Jet fan. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So let's get down to it. 72 tops basketball. Card number one is going to go to you, Chad. That's right underneath there. And Chad, you'll actually get the last card as well. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to be at the convention this weekend. And um, there's an out. He won't be hard to find. I just watched a great hour and ten minute, you know, documentary slash, I don't know, you know, biography, if you will, on HBO trying to learn more about uh, Mr. Jabbar before I potentially meet him this weekend. Um, I now have his agent's name. So that's the first card there, because we flipped it over. Um, uh, I now have the agent's name, but I've been told it's better to uh, reach out to them when I get to the show directly, talking about opening a pack with him. So that's what I'm going to do. So can you imagine, in the same weekend, if we're able to open a pack with Emmett Smith and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? It is unbelievable. Now, have you ever seen the special on HBO? I, I encourage you, um, you know, I really like these specials because they're not just talking about the athlete, but they're talking about the man behind the athlete. They're talking a lot of times about the athlete's particular path to how they got there. And then in some cases, and I thought this is great because I knew a little bit about Jabbar, but not a ton. Um, and from what I had at least perceived that I thought I had, I had known um, was that he was a very quiet guy. He didn't really like the press. And the special really elaborated in Kareem's words, you know, not someone else's words. In his words about his relationship with the press, the media, about how he felt as a young man both going to uh, college to UCLA and then coming out to playing pro ball, it was fascinating. It was very well done. Yeah, very much so. You know, he had a target on his back for since the moment he started growing, which was, you know, very early on. <laughs> Yeah, before social media, Lou, 100%. That's what I took away from it. You know, he didn't grow up with Instagram. He didn't grow up with the internet. And yet, everyone knew who he was. That was very uncommon back then, Lou, the way I understand it. That's, I mean, to to, to have that to bear, to deal with, uh, I didn't really quite grasp that until watching it. It was, it was very interesting. Um, this is a, a beautiful card with the ABA basketball right in sight. Ronnie Boone. Looks like a solid PSA A+. That's yours, Chad. We got a rebounding leaders card coming up. If it's a rebounding leaders, ooh, very nice. So what we have here, we're going to grade this on the house for you, Chad. 
It is a rebounding leaders from the ABA 7172 featuring Dr. J, Artis Gilmore, and Mel Daniels, all Hall of Famers. Very nice card. It's got a chance at a nine. It's fairly well centered. Oh, yeah, it's kicking. Uh, very much so. Uh, very much so. Um, there's no doubt that uh, he connected with um, with Wooden much more so, uh, much more than just about basketball. It was about life, about becoming. You know, what I found interesting was that, uh, you, you know, I had known, of course, that he had converted uh, to become Muslim. Um, but, you know, what drove Jabbar? I didn't really understand that. And, I mean, he really, he utilized mentors like Wooden to try to become a better all-around person, not just ball player. There's another beauty of an ABA assist leader. Yeah, yeah. Collis Jones. Spot five. This is going out to Rob. Who was your favorite hairdo from the 70s, Lou? I would think so. It has to be. You know, I got I got quoted, uh, I think it was shortly before Oscar Gamble passed away. Um, someone had called me about a 76 Tops card. It might have even been Darren Ravel. I don't remember. And there's a quote about me and Oscar Gamble's 76 Tops card in his hair. And then when he passed away, it was kind of like all over the place. Um, and, uh, you know, I learned a, lot, learned a bunch about Oscar Gamble uh, through that as well. But I would like to ask folks on the PSA show today, who is your, you know, 70s or 60s, you know, who's the hairdo that you remember the most? You know, oh, I love it. You know, I was going to suggest that we do something like this, but I'll take, uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll throw down first and I'll bring it next week if I remember. So, um, Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. But uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Nate Archibald, by the way, Hall of Famer, spot eight. This is going out to you, Jim. Just a little bit off-centered. I don't know what they were thinking with my hairdo when I was younger, but there's this hairdo I have a picture of. And, like, so they paid money for this picture. You know, they brought us somewhere. They had some children pictures done. It, it I don't know what the deal is, Lou. It's, it's horrendous. I'm going to bring in a picture of it, and everyone's going to have a very good laugh. <laughs> no, I, I didn't call it that. Um, I don't know, but I didn't call it that. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, I saw that from, you know, I had the inclination uh, a little bit from your softball picture I recently saw on Facebook. I literally, when I saw that, Lou, I, I was laughing a lot. I just wanted you to know. Full out, it was great. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. But you're going you're gonna to do the same. Yeah, it was a little bit, but it was like, yeah, it was a mullet cross with something else. Um, and uh, I got to tell you, yeah, this picture is going to be terribly embarrassing of me. It's great. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little uh, recap. This is one of my favorite years of basketball. Check out that beauty right there. We're going to grade that on the house. This might be gradable as well. If it is, Chad will grade that for you. See if there's anything else there that looks nice card. There we go. Another Hall of Famer. Nate Archibald. Just a little bit OC for Jim. All right, great. You know, I think, if anything, Lou, there might be a tiny short-term spike because, I mean, let's face it, right? He's going to be a Hall of Famer, I think. I don't, I don't know his career stats, but as long as he played long enough, he's got multiple 